Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Key Era or Kier Art. So welcome, welcome. So I'm really excited for today's video because me as an artist or just a creative period, a lot of people who are, who consider themselves artists or creatives, their family members, their loved ones do not know what to get, get them for the holidays or birthdays, like any celebratory um, event going on. They kind of lack in that area. So that's why I'm here today to give y'all suggestions as of like what to give someone. And y'all, art is it's not linear. There's different categories when it comes towards art. We got our visual artists, which are painters, phot photographers, sculptors, whatever. We got our hairstylists. We got our um, architectures. Like it's a big pool of, of artists, creatives. It's more so the term creatives. I just want y'all to like, Think outside the box when it comes to gifting your loved ones stuff that actually is their category of art. Okay, so stay tight, get some snacks, get some alcohol, get some wine. If you're above age now, drink responsibly. And let, let's have a good time. So let's get into it. First thing first I want to talk about is subscription. So depending on your creative at home, this list can vary. So just think about what they do and what they like. And also to y'all just ask questions about hey like what program do you use whatever whatever because honestly as as creators we, we love when y'all come into our world you know and just curious about what we got going on so boom let's say that you're living at home there is a fashion right and you go ahead and you get them a subscription for vogue okay like be creative like think about something that's beneficial towards them or a person that's a visual artist and they're into digital or illustration. Get them a subscription to like Adobe or any illustration app out there, right? Or let's say that they're into music and they make their own beats, okay? I'm just giving y'all ideas. I know from my friends who do, who do music, there's certain websites to where you can pay a membership to make your own music or, or make your own um, beats and stuff like that. Y'all, because being a creative, being an artist, it's not cheap. It's very, very expensive. So just think about how can this be beneficial towards your loved one. All right? Y'all get me? Cool. Now, let's think about classes and workshops. Okay? Yeah, I didn't think I was going to say that. Did you? Let me tell you why this is very, very important. Sometimes YouTube can only teach you so much, teach you so much. So it's good to get that in-person experience and meet like-minded people like them because being a creative, it can be very lonely and very frustrating when people don't get you or see your vision the way how you see it because they're not creative how you are in a sense, right? And it's just a good way to network, meet fellow artists, you know, and just have a good time. So if you can, look to see if there's work workshops or classes within your area for that person of interest. Even if you can't find anything that they that, that you think that they, they will like, they also have virtual class options too. So look into that. From my knowledge, the only thing that I know of that can relate towards that is Skillshare. With Skillshare, it is many different categories that I know for a fact a lot of creatives can find. Okay. Or if you can't find anything off of Skillshare, look into what their person of interest is at the current moment. Because from what I know, a lot of um, other artists, or whatever, that in a higher position, they have a Patreon list that they can subscribe to. So, you know, y'all just ask them and see what they actually like for real, for real. Last section was for my visual learners. This was more so for my people who, who love to learn through reading and writing. You can never go wrong with getting somebody a book or a magazine. Hear me out. Many artists plus creatives love to get inspired by new information through the books that they read. Let's say your person is into photography. Get them a photography book about how to learn more so about shadows and lighting, contrast and everything about that. Sometimes some people just don't learn easily through visuals than through reading your writing. So think about that, like what field that they're, they're in Look into how to books about what into their field or just y'all ask, ask questions. I keep saying that, but y'all are really a lot of these things can be resolved if y'all just ask questions about what they really like and do with their field of art. I'm telling y'all, y'all would thank me in advance 
It's just ask them. Ask them. That's it. Just ask, just ask questions. Now, if your loved one is a visual artist like myself, here are some of my favorite books that I've liked during my art journey. So I have a still like an artist journal. These are just like prompts and activities to get your creative juices going. Like here, something like this. I really have enjoyed this a lot during my journey. I have this one. And this one, I have one page at a time. It's also similar to that last book I just showed y'all. Same concept, just um, ideas and games to get your creative juices going. Right, and this, this is a lot of pages in here. Probably like over, um, ooh, Lord. this part has like, like at least over 100 plus pages in it. Then to get more uh, informative about the legal side of being an artist, I have this book right here. The Art Inc. This has been very, very helpful during my art journey about what to do, what not to do legally. Okay. This talks about contracts, um, royalties, taxes, like all the things that visual artists need to know about their business. So I love this book for that. Okay. Now it's time to get a little bit more personal. Customized supplies and tools, y'all. Who doesn't love to see their name engraved and stuff? Because I know I do. And it's a lot more sentimental. So let's say your creative at home is a hairstylist or a barber, right? Get them a apron that has their name or business engraved. Okay, y'all think creative. Think outside the box. Let's say your person is into fashion and they draw out all of their designs. Get them a sketchbook that has their name engraved in it. Let's say your person is into cooking. Get them a customized cooking book with their name in it. You just got to think and be creative also, y'all. Just think about what you know would make your person happy. It's not that hard. Or going back to the whole visual artist thing or person who's who use a lot of drawing utensils. A pen, a pencil that has their name in it. Think about it. And my favorite place to, to go and search for these type of things is to go on Etsy. You cannot go Etsy. Etsy will be my top number one place to go at for customized things. So to piggyback off of the whole Etsy thing, right? So they have amazing items on there that people made themselves. And I also did a video that you can watch right here about the stuff that I did buy off of there. So to go back to the whole um, customized sketchbook thing, boom, I bought this off of Etsy and you can literally choose what, what type of paper that you want, the color, of the sketchbook all that and this is amazing craftsmanship right here because you can find anything like this at all in the stores right now believe me so this i love this custom i love this custom sketchbook that i had got and the paper itself it is good quality i will list the seller down below in the description box so i had got this off of etsy and i also had got a sketchbook pocket that you can le legit put on here so that your, your creative at home don't, doesn't have to carry a lot of heavy things. You can't go wrong with that. And speaking of bags, y'all get them a bag. We love that. Get them a bag that's within the field and put their name on it. If your person is a barber or hairstylist, get them a carrying bag so that they can carry their products in it. A person that person that's into um, architect. This also would be a very good idea for them too because they use a lot of utensils, pencils, rule, y'all, a ruler that has their name in it. Okay, the ideas are just come out to me. Just think about what they would like. That's it. It's not that hard. Believe me. If y'all have like any other ideas that you all would love to share with other people that's watching this video right now, link it down below because we're a family. We ain't trying to get, get keep no ideas or anything over here on the channel at all, y'all, okay? So I hope y'all like my suggestions and ideas for this, this section. Let's go on to the next one, y'all. The number one thing you cannot mess up with getting a creative gift card. You can't mess up on gift cards, y'all. You just can't do it. You just can't. Whatever feel that they're in, get them a gift card towards that place. So with me, being a visual artist, I love me some Michaels. Get me a Michael's gift card. Get your creative who a visual artist a Michael's gift card. But there's way more places besides Michael's though. But that's just, that's just idea. A person who's into hair, like I mentioned before. Sally's. 
if they like Sally's, but you also just have to ask what places that, that, that they shop at and just give them a gift card. You can't go wrong with, with gift cards. If you do, then something wrong with you. Because because a lot of time when y'all do try to just go go to the stores that we do like and pick up whatever, we love the thought and the consideration. But a lot of times, y'all, the product itself is either on a cheap side or y'all just don't know what the hell that you're picking up. You're just picking up things. So you're really wasting your time and our time. And just give us, give us some money. Shit, give us some money. We know exactly what to get, but we do appreciate the love and the consideration, y'all. Don't don't think that we don't. And for my people who do have visual artists at home, here are a couple of stores suggestions for the creative artists that some of them may actually do shop at. So just get them gift cards here for in person or virtual because you also can give out virtual gift cards too. So just keep that in mind. And y'all, before I get into my last gift idea, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I promise you, you ain't gonna lose, lose no edges. You ain't gonna lose no sleep. You ain't gonna go hungry. I'm asking this for you to like and subscribe to the channel. That's it, that's it. So let's go ahead and get into this last gift idea. Hear me out. Self-care items. Okay, self-care. A lot of creatives, 95% of the time, we're using our hands and we're putting a lot of stress on our backs okay look at this think about okay getting them a voucher towards a massage parlor is that the one where they be getting freaky and shit well not that one but you know what, what i'm trying to say like stuff where they can get a massage on their on their spine their hands you know we just put a lot of stress on a lot of creators put a lot of stress on their body so a massage voucher or get think about getting them a gift basket that has their favorite um supplies in it and also self-care so Okay, so boom, get this. Your person is a cook. Get them some, some kitchen utensils that they use. Just ask them. A customized apron or some gloves, okay? From what I said earlier. And maybe some lotion and a um, exfoliator for their hands. You can't, go wrong, you can't go wrong with that. And also some wine. Some wine. I feel as though anybody can use some wine. If you're above age, they gotta be above age now. Don't be getting me in trouble. Same thing for a visual artist. Some paint, some brushes. If they're digital, put a um, a drawing stylus in it, a sketchbook. Also, too, some some lotion, a posture corrector. Because I ain't gonna lie, a lot of creatives we slouch we slouch a lot when it comes towards doing our work. I know I do. Or let's say they have arthritis in their hands, or they have um, copper tunnel, right? Get them a get them a device to where it can help release all that stress within their hands and stuff like that, right? And also too, get them, get them a vacation. It doesn't even have to be far out into a different state or a different country. It can be something local. Just getting away for a little bit can ease our mind and get us back into our creative flow. And y'all, those are all the unique ideas that I have for y'all. If you love them, please go ahead and like this video once again. And if you all may have any ideas that others may enjoy and like, like too, please leave it down below in the comment section. And I hope you have a great day or night watching this video and I'll see y'all later. Thank you.